Hey guys, welcome back to the Living the Life Show. I'm your host, Columbus Cody, and I thank you for tuning in. Let's get this encouragement for today. It says here, do you ever wish God would just walk into your room and sit on your bed and be like, okay, so this is what you should do? Or is it just me? I love this. Check out today's verse. This is Psalm 32 and 8, and it says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. I will do these things for you. This is what God is telling the psalmist. I will do these things for you. I'll instruct you. I will teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. Hmm. Here's the tricky part. He will do all those things, but are we willing to listen? Are we willing to do something after he shares those things? Because we say, man, I wish God would just show up and tell me how to do this. But you know what he's provided for you that gives you that guidance? He's provided his Bible, the word of God. Your Bible has plenty of guidance and wisdom in it, but we won't pick it up. But we will say, I wish he would show me what to do. And he has in the word, but we're not willing to pick it up. And then when he does show us, we do read it. We do see what it says. Then we come up with another reason why uh, that was for their time and not ours. That's not the context of that scripture. Those verses, when you apply them to your life, will also impact your life. They, is, they are the equivalent of God sitting at the edge of your bed, showing you which way to go. So when God reveals to you the best way for your life, the best direction for your life, will you honor that? Will you listen, get up and then move your feet in the direction he's called you to? Or will you say it again? I just wish he would tell me what I should do. I just wish he would show me which way to go. I just wish I could just hear his voice. The Bible tells us that my sheep know my voice and another they will not follow. It takes time to develop that relationship with God to where you hear his voice and you know it's him speaking. You know it's him speaking. The enemy also speaks to us. So we have to be able to discern the voice of God from the trick of the enemy. And that takes time, that takes commitment, that takes dedication. And when he tells you what to do and you honor it, you hear him even the more. But he will guide us. He will teach us which way to go. All you have to do is ask. Ask him into your heart. Ask him into your life. Ask him to lead your life. And if you do that, be prepared to do the things that it takes to get that guidance. He's given us two wonderful gifts to guide us. The word of God, your Bible and the Holy Spirit that dwells within you. And if you honor both of those, you will find that you are you will stay on a path that God is pleased with. All right, guys, another video in the books. I pray that you were encouraged today. I pray that you'll take a moment and share today's video with two people you love, that you wanna see stay on the path of righteousness, that you wanna see stay on a path that leads them closer and closer to the Father. Don't forget, if you'd like to grab a copy of my book recap, it is available. Check out the description of this video, click on the link and grab you a copy. Make sure you share today's video. Make sure you click on the thumbs up button if you were blessed by today's video and make sure you subscribe if you have not subscribed. I would love for you to join me on this journey. All right, watch it, share it and live it. Now let's get busy living the life. God bless you.